Hey folks, this is Pranit Kumar Manikam. Welcome back to our channel. We are back with the boom. Yeah, uh, today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. Not just a topic, uh, it's actually regarding a subject uh, which is obstetrics and gynecology uh, on the POV, uh, my internship. So first of all, what is meant by obstetrics and gynecology? Obstetrics deals with the pregnant woman undergoing delivery or problems related to pregnancy. Gynecology refers to the patients or subject uh, which deals with the uh, problems and diseases related to the uh, reproductive tract of women. I am currently doing my internship at Government Thronamla Medical College. Still some 8.5 months are pending to complete my UG course. Uh, as of now, I am posted in Community Medicine in uh, Non-Communicable Disease uh, OPD. Uh, since my OG posting ended, I thought of making a video. Uh, now time has come to speak about that. Um, it's actually very interesting. Uh, one of my favorite uh, subjects in MBBS among the eight, 19 subjects is uh, OBG. Uh, the toughest and also interesting posting if you like it. Yeah, I am underlining the word if you like it. It is like a heaven. If you don't like it, uh, you will get to know uh, because it will be occupied by 24-7. Uh, so I will give you the basic layout how the system works in every hospital. Normally in every hospital setup, this will be the basic layout. The basic layout is ladies who are getting admitted either in uh, O or G you will be getting through the casualty or OPD. The OPD may be AN or gynec. For uh, pregnant ladies, uh, this is the process. You will be getting admitted either through the emergency casualty or OPD. You will be straightly going to the uh, labor room. If you are going through labor spontaneously, you will be admitted there. Delivery will be happening. And you will be shifted to uh, PN room. Uh, you will in observation for few hours. If you are stable, you will be shifted to PN ward. From there, if you are uh, stable enough, you will be sent home. Or uh, till time is there or you are getting admitted for some other reason, you will be shifted to AN ward. Uh, uh, maximum it will be in uh, upstairs. Uh, from AN ward, uh, if you are well enough, uh, ready for delivery, you will be shifted to labor road. Uh, same process like uh, normal labor. Otherwise, uh, if you are getting admitted for uh, anemia, anemia correction, uh, some transfusion, I mean the basically anemia or some other uh, AN problems, you will be discharged, getting discharged from their, uh, their itself. If you are very having any serious problem, you will be getting admitted to ICU or HDU, I mean intensive care unit or a high risk dependency unit. Uh, from there you will be either shifted to AN ward or PN ward, uh, from that discharge happening the same process. If a gynec patient, the same, you will be getting admitted through emergency casualty or uh, OPD, you will be getting uh, admitted in gynec ward, you will be getting discharged from there itself. So, the basic split up in our hospital is, in wards, we are having antenatal ward, that is A in ward, postnatal ward, that is P in ward, immediate post-op ward, late post-op ward and gynecology ward. In labor wards, I mean the specific labor ward, it's divided into casualty, labor board, ICU plus HDU. These are the main split up uh, seen in our hospital. A specific building uh, for OBG is CMONG building. I don't know the proper explanation or abbreviation. I will just put it in the video. You can see to it. So basic regarding uh, OBG posting is like this. As an undergraduate, what you will be doing as an intern in OBG postings? Uh, you should be able to conduct a normal labor, episiotomy suturing. Uh, in LSCS, you should be able to know uh, skin suturing, rectus suturing. If you are doing well, behaving well, you will get chances in OT. Uh, normal delivery and day labor, if you are having time, you can... Uh, uh, learn it in night labor most of the time time will be there so you can actually learn it uh, other than this uh, notes writing um, 
uh, doing investigations like uh, basic investigations is uh, complete blood count rft i mean renal function test liver function test random blood sugar and serum electrolytes is the basic investigation you will be taking a 5 ml syringe and uh, at casualty itself you will be writing the investigation and send the patient other than just putting admission etc etc some some other investigations are uh, thyroid profile fever profile um blood investigations uh, for uh, fever is uh, blood culture sensitivity other than this urine culture sensitivity urine sugar urine albumin uh, basic investigations is this other than this is uh, ust abdomen you will not be able to do as a intern pgs are there to help us they will teach us uh, the basic as uh, a so ug what you you should know regarding the ust like the position the like uh, fetal heart rate the position of the fetus whether it is cephalic or vertex i mean both are same uh, whether it is breech or transverse uh, these are the basic you, you should able to know for blood transfusion the process is first you have to take a cross matching sample you have to fill the blood form you have to attach it in the case sheet give it in the blood bank they will uh, cross verify the sample uh, they will give the blood you should be able to put the blood other than this uh, ffp fresh frozen plasma uh yeah basically this is the obstetric posting uh the common problems of o and g i will just put the pictures uh, you can go through it yeah i think i have covered uh, most of the topics that the admission process the semen building the investigation what we are doing the basic work as an uh, intern yeah basically this is the things or uh, which i learnt in obg uh, it will be very interesting if you like it if you don't like it uh, you can uh, experience as an intern so i will be ending this video sir as usual like subscribe and comment uh, before ending say hi to my new friend visha hi okay i'm ending the video bye